In this example, we begin with two solutions. Our first solution is a 7 molar nitric acid solution given at 25 degrees Celsius. Our second solution is a 7 molar sodium hydroxide solution given also at 25 degrees Celsius. We want to find two things. First, we want to find the concentration of hydroxide in our 7 molar nitric acid solution. And second, we want to find the concentration of hydronium in our 7 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So, in the first step, we're going to do part A. So, first we must write the autoionization reaction for water. So, two moles of water react to produce one mole of conjugate acid and one mole of conjugate base. Now, let's write the equilibrium constant equation or expression for our autoionization reaction. So, Kw is equal to concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide. So, we know our Kw, that's a constant, and at 25 degrees Celsius, it's 10 to the negative 14. Now, we also know this guy, that's 7 molar, because we're dealing with an acid. This is 7 molar of acid, and this acid associates into H plus and some other ion. And this H plus increases the concentration of both this guy and this guy. And in fact, H and H3O plus are one and the same. They're meant to represent the same thing. So our concentration of hydronium in our solution is 7 molar. So we know Kw and we know this guy. Now we could plug it in and find our result. Now by the way, if you're confused at this part or if you're confused about the autoionization of water, check out the link below. So we basically take our numbers, we plug them in and we find that 10 to the negative 14 divided by 7 gives you 1.43 times 10 to the negative 15 molar of this guy of 7 molar nitric acid solution. So this means that our concentration of our base, of our hydroxide, is very, very small. And this means this must be a very strong acid or, or a very acidic solution. So. Uh, let's do part two, part B in this section. So our sodium hydroxide dissociates into sodium and hydroxide. So this must be our base. So our seven molar concentration now refers to the concentration of hydroxide. So we, we simply repeat the step. Kw 10 to negative 14 equals unknown times seven. We bring the seven over and we get divide and we get uh, 1.43 times 10 to negative 15 molar of this guy of 7 molar sodium hydroxide. So these two numbers have the same magnitude but they, but they mean two different things. In this case this means the concentration of hydroxide. That means it's a very small concentration of base so this is an acidic solution. In this case, this is a very small concentration of hydronium, so this must be a very basic uh, solution. 